Hi guys, good morning. This is Faithful with Elegance for Less. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Our Tuesday morning coffee, tea, quick encouraging word. Some mornings breakfast, we're not having breakfast this morning. A quick encouraging word and a haul. Now I do have a small haul for you today. I know, like last week I had a small haul. This week I also have a small haul. But I'm excited to share with you guys my encouraging word. I want to say last week after spending our time together, this was impressed on my heart. And I wanted to do another video, but I didn't take the time to do it. So I just decided I'd save it for today. And today's encouraging word is for each and every single one of us to be generous. Generosity. Would you consider yourself a generous person? Not just a person that gives, but one that give generously. And I truly believe that God would desire for us to give because the word tells us that when we sow, we shall reap. And if we, if we sow sparingly, we will reap sparingly. And like I always say, we don't give to get. But it is the principle that God has put in motion for every single one of us. So I want to ask you today, how is your finance? And if your finance is not so well, then I want to encourage you to pray and ask God, where are you lacking? And how can you, what can you implement in order to reap a harvest? And you guys know I talk about tithing all the time. I, I love that God's word is true. And he says, this is the only place he says, test me in this and see if I will not fling open the floodgates of heaven and pour out a blessing you have not room to receive. Oftentimes I want to, well not now, but before, Oftentimes I would begin to think when someone asked me for money, a homeless person or just someone on the street, ask me for money, I would say, I don't know what they're gonna do with it. I don't know if they're gonna buy cigarettes or buy alcohol or buy whatever. And God impressed on my heart. That is not for you to question. The word of God tells us to give, give to anyone and everyone that ask. And so whatever it is that they choose to do with what you have given to them, that's their responsibility, not ours. And so that has freed me from having to debate or estimate or judge on what they're going to do. When I give freely, when I give generously I never have to wonder or worry about what's going to happen because every time we give we must give with the right heart if we give with the heart that wants to be a blessing a heart that wants to give generously a give above what we would normally want to give to someone oftentimes someone will ask for a dollar i will give two they ask for three i'll give five and the reason for that is you know sometimes we try to be modest and instead of asking for what we need we'll probably think we're probably thinking that we'll get you know if we ask for less we will get what we're asking for so I want to encourage you today to be a person that is generous and make sure when you're giving, you're giving with the right heart, knowing that God is our source. He will supply our needs. And I know someone will say, well, what if you don't have to give? There is something to give. You can give an encouraging word if you have a dollar, you could give 50 cents. If you have a dollar and God impressed on your heart to give the dollar, give the dollar. And I wanna to touch just a little bit on tithing because oftentimes, um, 
people are scared to talk about tithing. It is God's firm, solid word that we give. We are not giving to man, we're giving to God. And he says, whatever we've done unto the least of these, you have given to me. And so when I give to the homeless, when I give to the church, I'm thinking, I'm believing, I'm standing on God's word that I am giving to God and God will use it. He sees my heart and he will use it. He will multiply it and he will do what he says he will do because of my obedience to him. And I often encourage people, do not go off of the advice of someone that says, give what you can. That is not what God asked us to do. God asked us to give off the top of our income. Because when we give our time, we give our money, we give our love, and we give it off the top, we're saying that this is more valuable than what I'm thinking and what I'm feeling. Most times we want to reserve the best for ourselves and give the overflow to others. That's not what God asks of us. He wants for us to give the top, the best of our fruit to him. And then we receive what's remaining and then he will take what's remaining and multiply that. I've got two stories that come to mind as I think about that. Um, Cain and Abel in Genesis where Cain brought whatever was left over. Abel brought the best and the Bible made sure it specified that he brought the best to God, the top, the first, and Cain brought what was left over. It wasn't so much that it was uh, a blood sacrifice or it was the vegetables. That's not what it specified. It specified the fact that it was the best. And the other story comes to mind where Elijah went to the widowed woman and the widowed woman uh, was waiting or this woman she was a widow and she had a son and she was waiting because there was uh, a famine in the land and she was waiting to to just bake this cake eat and die her and her son and Elijah came to her God sent Elijah to her and he said bake me a cake first the man of God wanted the first off the top the cake and she says surely <laughs> I only have a little bit of flour and I'm gonna make this cake and my son and I are gonna eat it and we're gonna die and he says you will surely not die make this cake as you said you were gonna do give me one first and then you and your son can have what's left over oftentimes we would look at them and think you are crazy I am not doing that. But this is what God's requiring of us, to give generously. Generously means we're giving our best. We're giving off the top. And once we can do that, God is well pleased. And therefore, we're putting into motion what it is that he's already got going. And then he releases once your faith hits what he's already doing. It just releases everything to come right back to you. God doesn't want for us to give because he wants what we have. He wants us to give to activate what he's already doing. Our faith of giving activate activate what God is already doing. So I hope that I encourage you today to be a giver and not just a giver but a generous giver today to your neighbors, to your friends, to the homeless, to your church. Make sure where you're being fed, you are giving your tithing. And it's not just about 10%. If God impress on your heart to go beyond, your best is not 10%, it's beyond 10%. Give your best to God, he honors that. I am gonna go ahead and jump into our hall and I want to do a quick prayer. God, in the name of Jesus Christ, you've impressed on my heart, not just for myself, not just to challenge myself to go beyond just the average of giving, but to go above and beyond 
our giving, to be generous, have a heart that is generous to our waiters, to our servers, to our, our service people, to our church, to our neighbors, to the homeless, to give freely so that we can receive freely. Lord, we thank you so much that you love us. You care about every area of our life, every area of our life, the large things as well as the small things. We are grateful that we serve a mighty and powerful God, one that creates the heaven and the earth and take time out to count every straw and hair on our head, to bless us and have given us freedom and liberty and dominion over the earth, that we have free will to choose to be like your son, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank you, we give you all the praise, the glory and the honor that you will impress on our hearts today to be a generous giver. We love you, Lord, and we thank you so much for all that you've done, all that you're doing now, and all that you're going to do in the name of Jesus Christ. We love you and we thank you, amen. Let's jump into this haul because I'm going over. So I went to Ross and Ross had this um, chargers for summer. I thought that's fabulous. And they had it clearanced out for $3.99. I hope you can see that, $3.99. So I loved it. I got it because I love travel. I'm from the islands. And of course I love bells. So I'm always in bells every week. And this is $3.90. I'm sorry. Yeah, $3.90, so I got two of them. Dining table. I love, love this piece. And I got that from Bells as well. And it was $3.60. So I got that. My last piece for today. Sorry, I'm in and out of the camera. But I got this basket. I fell in love with this basket. Of course, it's gonna be for a DIY. Not sure yet what it's going to be. How cute are these candles? And I got it for $4.89. $4.89. Can you see that that's it for my haul today guys thank you so much for joining me i truly 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 appreciate you guys time and your support and if this was your first time to my channel welcome and thank you so much for choosing to watch i hope that it was a blessing to you and that you will decide to become a subscriber join our family would love to have you guys a part of our family I will have a DIY for you later on today and I truly appreciate your time and your support always. I'll see you on my next video.